Dear students, how are you? Hoping all of you are doing very well with your studies. And this is our 13th lecture of units and measurement. And in the previous lecture, we were discussing the combination of errors. We, are, we were doing the numericals related to that topic and also the other, the errors. Okay. So, we are continuing our numericals here. And before starting, just introducing, this is our channel, Physics Gallery, Asha Dina. Okay, so another question related, we, are, we were discussing the numericals related to the errors. So in a question, it is given that the length, breadth and the thickness of a metal block, the length, breadth and you may write the question, the length, breadth and thickness of a metal block are given as phi plus or minus 0 0.01 centimeter breadth b is equal to 4 plus or minus 0 0.1 centimeter and thickness is equal to 3 plus or minus 0 0.1 centimeter okay the length breadth and thickness of a metal block are respectively l is equal to 5 plus or minus 0 0.1 centimeter B is equal to 4 plus or minus 0 0.01 centimeter. Here also 0 0.01. And thickness T is equal to 3 plus or minus 0 0.01 centimeter. The question is find the volume. Find the volume of the metal block. Metal block. Okay. So what is the volume of a metallic block? Length is given, breadth is given, thickness is given. So all of us know the volume is L into B into T. Okay. So we have to multiply the quantities here to find the volume. So it is very easy to multiply 5 into 4 into 3. Okay. The answer is obtained 5 into 4 into 3. 5 4 is 20. 20 into 3. 60 centimeter cube is the answer. We know that. But what is the speciality? Each quantity is given with its error. With its error. So we have to find the volume also with this error. We also have to find the volume with this error. Is it clear? So how to take the error? This is multiplication. How to take the uh, errors in multiplication? There we have studied. The product of two quantities, the errors in the product of two quantities is always taken by taking the relative error or percentage error. Never take the directly. Okay, we never add 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.01 directly. But at first we have to take the relative error. We have to add the relative errors only. In multiplication, we have to add the relative errors only. So, we have to find... The relative error in length is equal to 0 0.01 by 5. Is it clear? The relative error in breadth is equal to 0 0.01 by 4. And the relative error in Thickness is equal to 0 0.01 by 3. Is it clear? Therefore, the percentage error in length is equal to 0 0.01 by 5 into 100. 1 by 5, which is equal to 0.2 percentage. Okay. Percentage error. Percentage error. In breadth is equal to relative error into 100. That is 1 by 4, 0.25 percentage. This was 0.2 percentage. And the percentage error in thickness is equal to 0 0.01 by 3 into 100, which is equal to 1 by 3, which is equal to 0.33 percentage. Okay, so the total percentage error is equal to 
0.33% what will be the answer 0, 05 5 plus 3 8 2 2 4 4 plus 3 7 0.78% this is the percentage error so how to take the volume of the metal now now the volume of the metal is taken as the correct value is 60 but it has a percentage error of 0.7 0.78 percentage, 0.78 percentage centimeter. So this is the answer. Okay. So what is the volume? What is the volume of the metal block? 60 plus or minus 0.78 percentage centimeter cube. Okay. Whether this is clear? Surely this is clear. Pause the video and take the notes. But sometimes. Okay, hoping all of you have taken the notes and you understood the topic. But sometimes the question is like this. Find the volume with its error limit. Find the volume with its error limit. This is the volume with its percentage. Percentage error. Here we have taken this is volume with its percentage error percentage error. But now the question is find the volume. Find the volume with its error limit. With its error limit. What does it mean? 0.78 percentage is the error. So this is the percentage error. So what is percentage error here? Percentage error is equal to 0.78 percentage. So relative error will be how much? In order to convert relative error into percentage, you have to multiply it with 100. But to convert percentage error into a relative error, you have to divide it with 100. So the value will be 0 0.0078. Do you understood? Do you understood? We, we have written percentage error is equal to relative error into 100. So, if relative error is has to be found out, you have to take percentage error by 100. Is it clear? Okay. So, this is the relative error. Okay. Relative error, how it is written? Delta V by V. The change in volume, that is, uh, the error in volume by total volume is 0 0.0078. So what is delta V? What is the error in volume? Error in volume delta V is equal to 0 0.0078 into volume. 0 0.0078 into what is volume? 60. This much will be the value. Okay. This will be the value. Okay, I have to just multiply this 0 0.0078 into 60. 0 0.468. 0 0.468. Okay, that is. Now the question, this answer, the volume, find the volume with its error limit. Volume with its error limit is equal to 60 plus or minus point. 4, 6, 8. When you have measured it, when you have taken a 60 centimeter cube, there is a there is an error of 0.468. Is it clear? Here we have written it as percentage error. But here the question is find the volume with this error limit. So what is the error for 60 centimeter? This is the percentage. We want the correct value. So percentage error is 0.78 percentage. Therefore, relative error is equal to 0 0.78, 0 0.78 by 100, 0 0.0078. Delta V relative error means error by true value is this much. So, the error in volume is equal to 0 0.0078 into volume, 0 0.0078 into 60, 0 0.468. Is it clear? That is the volume with its error limit is 60 plus or minus 0 0.468. Okay, 
Hoping you have understood. Is it clear? So, do the problem. Pause the video. Do by yourself. Is it clear? The unit centimeter cube. Okay. This is the volume with its percentage error. This is the volume with its error. Is it clear? Do it. Okay, now we are going to the next question. In the next question, they had given a particular law. The question starts as, according to Ohm's law, according to Ohm's law, next question. According to, have you heard of Ohm's law? Surely in your 10th class. According to Ohm's law, V is equal to IR. Where V is the potential difference, I is the current and R is the resistance. Okay. If potential difference is given as 100 plus or minus 2 volt and resistance is given as R is equal to 10 plus or minus 1 O. Okay, find the current. Find current. This is the question. Okay, so according to Ohm's law, V is equal to IR. V is equal to 100 plus or minus 2 volt and R is equal to 10 plus or minus 1 volt. Find the current. From this equation, current I will be taken as V by R. Is it clear? V is 100, R is 10. So, the current is 10 ampere. The current is 10 ampere. But the voltage and resistance are given with its error. So, how to take the error current with its error? Okay. So, division. How to divide? How to take the errors during division? Yes, here also we have to add the relative errors. During multiplication and division, we have to add the relative error. Therefore, at first step, we have to take relative error in voltage is equal to 2 by 100. Therefore, percentage error in voltage is equal to 2 by 100 into 100, which is equal to 2 percentage. Relative error in resistance is equal to 1 by 10. Therefore, the percentage Error in resistance is equal to 1 by 10 into 100 or 10 percentage. Is it clear? Therefore, total error in current, in current I is equal to total percentage error. So, percentage error, percentage error. In current I is equal to 2 percentage plus we have to add which is equal to 12 percentage. So what is the correct value of voltage? Sorry current. Therefore we can write I is equal to 10 plus or minus 12 percentage. Okay. And this is the value of current. Okay. And if the question is it clear? You may pause the video and take the notes. And if the question is. I am rubbing this, hoping surely you have done this. If the question is, find the current with its error limit, not percentage error. Here we have taken, this is the current with its percentage error. Current with percentage error. Okay. But, if the question is, find the current find the current with its error limit. How to find? That is 12 percentage means 12 by 100. Once more. Percentage error, we can write everything. In current I is equal to 12 percentage. Therefore, relative error, relative error, in I 
is equal to 12 by 100, which is equal to 0.12. Okay. Okay. Therefore, current with its error limit. How to take? In order to take current with its error limit, what does this mean? Delta I by I is equal to 0.12. Delta I is equal to 0.12 into I. Or we can write 0.12 into current is 10. So 1.2 ampere. Okay. So what is delta I? 1 pi. So I is equal to 10 plus or minus 1.2. This is the correct error for 10 ampere. And this is the percentage. Is it clear? Is it clear? So, we now know how to take the errors during addition, multiplication, sorry, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Do this, pause the video and do this. Hoping all of you understood at first percentage, then to the error limit. If the question asks us how to take the error limit, the value with its error limit. Okay. One more question. In the next question, it is given that a physical quantity x, a physical quantity x, a physical quantity x is related to Four other physical quantities. Four other physical quantities. A, B, C and D. As X is equal to A cube B square C raised to 5 by 2 and D raised to 1 by 2. Okay. Then, if percentage error errors in A, B, C and D are 1 percentage, 2 percentage, 4 percentage and 6 percentage respectively. Respectively, find the percentage error in x this is the question so a physical quantity x is related to four other physical quantities a quantity x is related to a b c and d as the equation is given x is equal to a cube b square c raised to 5 by 2 d raised to 1 by 2 okay if the percentage errors it is given the percentage errors in each quantity are given a, B, C, D are respectively 1%, 2%, 4% and 6%. Respectively, find the percentage error in the X. Okay. How to take? That is, all of the quantities are multiplied together. And their errors are given in percentage. We have just added multiplication or division. We have to add the percentage or relative error. So, we have to add this. All of the quantities are, all of the errors in the quantities are added together. But A cube means A into A into A. Three times errors of A is taken. Errors in A is taken. Three times errors. Once more. X is equal to A cube means A into A into A. For one A, there is a percentage error. Next time also A, again percentage error. Next time also A, again percentage error. So, Percentage error in X is taken as when power is obtained, multiply that power with error. That is A is taken three times. So we have to take three times errors in A. Three times error in A. Three times we will write it like this. Error in A. Okay. Plus b square we have taken b two times b into b that's why b square so we have to take two times 
error in B. Okay. Plus, now C is taken 5 by 2. The power of C is 5 by 2. When the power of A was 3, we have taken 3 times the error of A. When the power of B was 2, we have taken 2 times the error in B. Similarly, here the power of C is 5 by 2. You have to take it 5 by 2 times. 5 by 2 times the error in C. Plus, D is taken 1 by 2. The power of D is 1 by 2. So, 1 by 2 times error in D. We will write 3 into 1 percentage plus 2 into 2 percentage plus 5 by 2 into 4 percentage plus 1 by 2 into 6 percentage. So, what is the value? 3 percentage plus 4 percentage plus 2, 2, 5 is 10. 10 percentage plus 3 percentage. Okay. So, the answer will be 3 plus 4, 7. 7 plus 10, 17. 17 plus 3, 20 percentage. So, what is the error in X? What is the error in X? 20 percentage. 3 plus 4, 7. 7 plus 10, 17. 17 plus 3, 20 percentage. So, what is the power? What is the error in X? 20 percentage. So, when the power is given, a quantity with its power is given, just to multiply the power into error in that measurement. Okay. A Q means 3 times A. That is, the error in A is 1 percentage. So, when 1 A is taken, 1 percentage. Next A is taken, again 1 percentage. The third A is taken, again 1 percentage. So, A is taken 3 times. 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3 percentage, which is also written as 3 times error in A. B is taken, uh, B square is taken, that is, uh, B is taken 2 times. So, 2 times error in B. C raised to 5 by 2, C raised to 5 by 2, that is 5 by 2 times error in C. And D raised to 1 by 2, 1 by 2 times error in B. Okay, so this is the percentage error in X. Is it clear? Okay. Hoping all of you understood the topic. Is it clear? So, we have completed the combination of errors also. Okay. So, till the next video, do this very well. If there is any doubt, please ask it through the comment box. Okay. Till the next video, see.